and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some abundance ramp. That's right, we're going to have an abundance of mana thanks to the ley line of abundance. So if y'all missed it about oh, four, day, four or five days ago, maybe, um, we had a donation deck that we called uh, ley line ascendancy that was built around ley line abundance, a whole bunch of mana creatures and simic ascendancy. And it was a lot of fun to play because uh, we just got to ramp so, so hard. But of course, the Simic Ascendancy wasn't really that good or that necessary. Um, you know, it was just, just doing something different with the ramp. So as we talked about during that video, hey, what's up, Stoltzel Girk? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. As we talked about during that video, the deck would have been better if we were playing like Mass Manipulation at the top instead of the Simic Ascendancy. And um, so decided to... Um, fix that, give it a try. I know some people wanted to, to see us uh, try to optimize the Ley Line of Abundance ramp deck. And so that, that's what I that's what I got going on here. So we got four Voracious Hydra, because this card is just awesome. Really, really like this card. It's just a, a very good card to ramp into. I got a couple of Vivian Arcbow Rangers, because as y'all know, Vivian is one of my favorite cards, and I, I think it's still just strong here. Because if we're, if we're doing our, our ramp stuff, you know, we'll, we'll have a lot of mana creatures and then big, big stuff. But games don't always go to according to plan, of course. And if our opponents has, like, some interaction, like, we may not um, be able to uh, ramp into these things right away. And maybe we need something else in the mid game. And I think Vivian is perfect for that. Vivian can turn these mana creatures into, into threats with the plus ability. Um, I think, you know, it especially works well with Incubation Druid, getting some counters in Incubation Druid. You can even, so you can even ramp with Vivian also there. And then I have a, a little bit of a cool wish package here with the minus five, how you can choose a creature card you own from outside the game. So I have an Agent of Treachery over here in the sideboard if we want to go grab that to be able to take something. Or maybe we have a bunch of mana creatures and I minus five the Vivian and get Endray's Forerunners. And, um, you know... Uh, finish the game off that way. So I have, a, I have a couple of cool cards to be able to get there. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of our deck. We'll see how we do with the ley lines here. We're going to go ahead and play in ranked. That's people in chat. They vote for ranked. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to play five matches here with Abundance Ramp over in Mythic. See how it goes. Abundance Ramp. All right, let's get started. No, I haven't haven't turned to Anissa yet. I mean, I don't. You'd have to have so you'd have to have, I guess, two ley lines and a Lanowar Elf. Hmm. These mass manipulations are basically just dead cards here. So let's let's go ahead and Mulligan. Man, this would be a hand where if if one of these was just a a ley line. This would look a lot better. Hmm. What do you think, Hawkeye? Do we go to five or are we keeping this? We keep this, we're ditching you know, one of these druids. Hmm. Thank you, this. Yeah, Landry, I'm having a very good day. Thank you. I don't really have a favorite deck, per se. Um, I guess maybe if I'd, if I'd have to have a, a favorite deck, it, I guess maybe it'd be like the Golgari Stompy deck. That's what I played earlier today whenever I was just a couple of wins away from Mythic 
And so it played that um, off stream today. Okay, so we are playing against the Simic Flash deck. So I'm just getting the land ward off there and going to go ahead and Incubation Druid. All right, so we're just gonna activate Leyline of Abundance a bunch. Make some big creatures. Yep, Gavney Township plan. I'm certainly hoping they don't draw the werewolf. Good. Yeah. Cat's name is Hawkeye. He's awesome. What's up, Kurtash? That's their second unsummon. They like maybe have like one more. Don't think they're playing four. I could see. I could see them playing three though. Wasn't for the Spectral Sailor. <laughs> I can't even cast that thing. All right, so three, six, seven, eight, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, Hawkeye's definitely telling me what, what moves to make. Absolutely, Tyler. Gruel is absolutely viable. I'd like to stay out of this, but I'll fight if I must. The sky is my domain.
Counters. Counters. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I guess I need that Paradise Druid. I need that blue mana, I suppose. Cannot bear to stay. Hmm. I mean, I, I can play Nissa and activate Leyline of Abundance. It's just I don't really want to play Nissa into a negate here. But maybe I do. Oh wow. What a strange and magnificent world. The land fights for us. That is incredible for us. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't going to be able to play N Nissa and Manipulation this turn. So many different things to do here. Ugh. How do we want to do this? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Rise, my elemental friend. So that's eight, nine, ten. Twelve. And I still have, still have enough to activate Leyline. So, twelve minus four is eight. Eight divided by two is four. So give me this, this, that, and I don't know that thing. I guess the opponent was not too happy about that. They were not too happy at all. All right, we're one to know. They've had enough. See, Leyland Abundance is pretty sweet. Hmm. 
four X spells. We're gonna mulligan. All right, I think we'll try this. It's either the manipulation or the leaf can druid. Um, All right, Leaf Kindred. Well, drawing another Vivian was not ideal. That's for sure. Yep, looks like Jund Dinosaurs. We'd have to draw a blue land next turn to be able to play Mass Manipulation. This means now if we draw a blue land, we can steal two things. We did not. Uh, Flash is a very powerful mechanic. All right, we got our Cavalier Thorns to play some defense and the, the Melodies to steal stuff. Um, we're going to take out the Arcbow Rangers and... Hmm. Do I do I cut voracious hydras? Are they too small compared to like you know we're bringing in melody? That seems kind of weird. Yeah, I think we do. No, because we just we don't even have to fight stuff. We just double the counters. No, I shouldn't be cutting voracious hydras. All right, that's bad. I I actually kind of think I should be cutting Nissa's. Looking at it. Speaking of. Hmm. So we'll get rid of this druid. Yeah, because doubling the Hydra is actually probably really important. So yeah, I, I miss sideboarded here. I think I should be trimming Nissa's not. Not the uh Hydra. That's not a good draw step. 
Or on, honestly, maybe I should just be cutting the manipulation. Maybe I'm just maybe that's just too slow. And like the only time I'm going to be able to play manipulations, like whenever I already have just an awesome hand and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be on for the next about six and a half hours. What's up, After Wizard? I'm always on from 3 to 10 Eastern time. It's 3.30 Eastern right now. So that just started. Well then. That was a bunch of non-lands. Hey, Starman. Right, right. Duels off of Let's just fight. More retro. They are fighting with the wrong creature. Ideally, oh, never mind. All right, I'll take that. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Darn. Definitely hope they just attacked me and didn't attack Nissa. I mean, so I can shock in and steal the Galta. I guess that puts me to 14, and they would have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 power, and I would be at 14. He's my bread and butter. All right, so I missed sideboarded there. Learned a lesson, but very good hand for the opponent also. So got to got to give him that one. We're one and one. We have been just like mulliganing all of our hands. Though also. Um, we haven't kept a seven yet. I think this may... I mean, I guess we could keep this.
I guess we keep this. Uh, yes, you can you can drop tiers in a rank. Like if you are if you are in diamond and you are in tier two in diamond and you lose, you'll go to tier three in diamond, back to tier four, and so on. I haven't been able to start with Leyline of Abundance yet, unfortunately. Yeah, Lasso Dinos. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. We're fit enough to survive. So Incubation Druid will add some more mana now, and our Paradise Druid can trade with a Marauding Raptor if they attack with that thing. Thoughts on splashing a couple Bonder Revival in Phoenix and adding to Dracuseth. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, because yeah, they are very good with Crackling Drakes. That doesn't sound like a bad idea to me. Alright, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, Voracious Hydra. Fight the Ceratops. Vivian minus. Kill this Riptar Raptor. You picked the wrong fight. Alright. Cleared up their stuff. Vivian's awesome. Uh, oh, thanks, Kozar. What? Oh, they just hit the wrong thing. They meant to put a counter on it, I bet. Oops. Um, so we'll do six again. I know, kitty. Poor opponent. We're fit enough to survive.
Yeah, Voracious Hydra is awesome. Very good card. I think it's still I think it's still kinda underplayed. Alright, we'll just finish him off. We're gonna tear you apart. Basically everything in my deck does cost two, as far as a blast zone's concerned, like these hydras cost two. You know, like all of these things cost two mana. As far as hydra's concerned. Alright, so let's so we get a, to retry with our mulligan decisions. I think the Nissa is probably... Actually, I think we just take out Nissa. I think that's our card that... Yeah, that's going to be our card that we're going to take out for these entrancing melodies and stuff. Um, I don't know. Is it is it Vivian, though, also? Vivian was very good there, but we are also on the play. All right, so we keep in one Nissa. Maybe keep in two Nissas and cut one Manipulation. Okay, how does this look? We have one Manipulation still, a couple Nissas. Yeah, let's try this. Okay, I like this sideboarding a lot better. Hey, Matu. Welcome, welcome from Argentina. All right, do we get to have a ley line hand? Ooh, it's a ley line hand. Uh, it's not. It's not doing anything yet, but let's keep it. We got good ramp. I'm, I'm, yeah. Mass manipulation is awesome if we can cast it. I am pretty worried about actually casting mass manipulation. I, I'm not playing a ton of blue sources. And they are a very fast deck. Like, they hit really hard. And so I'm I'm thinking, like, the games that we're going to be dying, we're going to be dying before we'd actually be able to cast Mass Manipulation. Rude. But yeah, I, I love actually casting Mass Manipulation and stealing dinosaurs. I think that's really strong. I'm not sure it's going to happen too often. And we're drawing all our blue sources this time, though. If I would have played an untapped land, we would have had seven mana because the land off taps for three. So I would have would have been one short of Leyline of Abundance anyway. That was unfortunate for us. They played the pro blue. Ooh. All right, so we got eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Good job, Temple. See, we would have drawn an island this turn. A good old Temple. Push that island to the bottom. Let's draw a Voracious Hydra instead. No. Carnage Tyrant having Hexproof. So plan here is just to activate Leyline of Abundance, make my Voracious Hydra 
Wait, undo, undo. You, 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 and you. Play this. Through this land, we are all connected. Hmm. Grizzle. Bottom. Good job, Temple. Now get in the fight, too. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Boo. Sorry, Temple. You died a hero. I guess two hands are mysterious. That's why this is the Temple of Mystery. <laughs> yeah, Hydra Devotion. All right, how much mana do we have? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. So one short of double activating abundance. We can play this thing. We can play that thing and activate abundance. Ruh -roh. Uh, Let's start at a sizzle and see I guess I need to actually kill the them. Hope it's not too hot for you. Everybody knows Nissa, Nissa and Chandra are best friends, so they should be fighting on the same side, right? Ow. All right, so we need X is three, so that's four plus, so that's 10 mana. Uh, you, that's four, five, seven, eight, nine, 11, eh, close enough. Give me this, this, and this. You, Kill that. Boom. Exploded. Harness the elements. Um. All right. Two and one. Get to do some crazy stuff with Leyline of Abundance. So I was still going to be able to play my, that turn I was going to be able to play the, the Incubation Druid and then with the trigger on the stack to deal two damage to it with the other thing, I was going to be able to tap my two lands that were creatures because both of those lands that were creatures added four. I guess the Hinterland Harbor didn't add four. So I would have had to tap, I would have had to tap the Land Wolf also. But anyway, we we're going to be activating the Ley, Ley Line of Abundance, putting some more counters on stuff. Oh yeah, give me this hand. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is a good hand. If we draw Nissa, we can play Nissa on turn two. We can play Nissa next turn. 
no Nissa. So I could play, could play a pretty big Krasis, but we'll we'll take one turn off and go an even bigger Krasis next turn. Yeah, no turn two Nissa would have had it. All right, so we're gonna have three, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll have Krasis for seven next turn. I guess we just do Krasis for six, three, six. Yeah, we'll do Krasis for six and play Land War Elf. Ooh. That Voracious Hider is going to be really big. I was the one worth losing. Hmm. How much mana do I have? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12. So I can do 4, that, and then do this for 4. Knight. So we're going to play you. We're going to play you for 4. And kill one of these things. Oh, I didn't get to play my Vivian Arcbar Ranger and kill another one. <laughs> they had turn one Land War Elf and then turn two double Land War Elf. They had... That's like a good ramp hand, you know? But just <laughs> pales into a comparison of... Turn my turn one land off that added, added three green mana. <laughs> yeah, I I I didn't have I couldn't cast mass manipulation. All these people that wanted me to cast mass manipulation it cost four blue mana. We didn't have four blue mana, so I need to play the paradise druid. But yeah, that's why we didn't do that. Uh, yep, deck looks great. We'll kind of see more of what they got going on here. <laughs> Alright, a little slower. This is still a turn three Nessa hand. forest. That's our deck, though. Our, our slow hands are turn three Nissa. Line of abundance is messed up. Ow. Sure. I protect that which cannot protect itself. The land shall conquer you. Let us talk of peace. Hmm. Scala's vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. Do I want that Leyline? Nah.
Be wary of the ground you walk on. This will be fun to watch. Oh, I didn't update the deckless command. Thanks, Nagu. All right, now deckless command should be good to go. All right. So Endre's Forerunners costs, what, eight mana? So two, five, six, seven, eight, and two, five, six, seven. Mm. Tap, it's tap incubation druid, but that's seven. In fact, does Endrace Forerunners do? It's all the creatures get plus two, plus two, and trample, and so it's a nine. Okay, yeah, that'll do. All right, so. Um, yeah, give me just a second here. Behold, nature's true power. Arkbo, bring me an ally. And boom. So these are 7-7, seven, seven, Haste Trample, Vigilance Haste Trample, another 7-7, seven, seven, Vigilance Haste Trample, and the 4-3. All right. Haven't used Endrace Forerunners in standard, I don't think ever. I think that's the first time I've ever played that. Hey, Kemmer, GG's. Aw, thanks for the, the kind words there. Okay, we are three and one. Let's play one more. With these decks in ranked, we'll go ahead and play five matches. This deck's pretty nasty, though. Especially with all these other people playing. You know, like, we're just playing against green decks over and over again, and everybody else's green decks are just slower than ours. Not quite turn two, Nissa. We need one more ley line, so I guess we'll have to turn three, Nissa. Yeah, we could have also grabbed, we could have also done Agent of Treachery, Steal the Hydroid Crisis. So that would that would have been like another option, but probably not one that we really need to do, because you know we just had, um, just had lethal anyway. So hey, El Gato. Thanks for that sub there. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, this deck's been, been very impressive. It's been pretty scary, honestly. Our 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 hands like this, like with Leyline, have been pretty scary. <laughs> hey, what's up, Dan? Good evening. Yeah, I have these decks, the ones that have the two Ds next to them, those are donation decks that um, a viewer submitted and donated to see on stream. And whenever I have an, an R there, that means that we're playing ranked with the deck. Wow. 
mean, I guess I have to... I guess I need to be playing the Hinterland Harbors. It's not as much mana. We will not fail. All right. All right, against the vampire deck. Manipulation, probably a little slow and or unnecessary. Maybe some Cavaliers of Thorns instead. The biggest the biggest thing I'm scared about of taking out Manipulation is Soren. Soren's hard to beat. I guess Arcbow Ranger can kill Soren, though. I don't know if their creatures are really that, that good if we actually want to steal them with Melody. Yeah, they have like the death one drop death touch, dude. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, turn three Nissa is pretty OP, but we would have had turn two Nissa. If we would have had Nissa in our hand earlier. You know, two Ley Lines, a Llanowar Elf, a Nissa, and two lands. You get turn two Nissa. I'm just gonna try this. Thanks, Kiwik. The agent is good to have in the sideboard for our uh four mana Nissa or Vivian to be able to go find. Hmm. Guess it's Cavalier. I need the lands, need the mana creatures, need the ley line. Probably want the Hydra. I guess it's Cavalier. So next turn, we could have a turn three, fourteen, fifteen. Depart in Estrad immediately, or you will taste my blade. What is one life Darn. To save many? All right, now it's just a twelve power instead of fourteen power. It's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, it'll just be 10 power. All right. Wait, X is 5. Yep, just just a ten eleven on turn three. <laughs> the big question is if I attack Soren or attack them. I think that's the big question here. Or just not attack, also. I guess I could probably just attack Soren and get that thing out of here. Hmm. Then I'm looking at taking a lot of damage. 
Soren gives their creature death touch, though. I need a shock in before attacking. Probably. Yeah, should have shocked in first. I guess they're, they're still killing the Hydra, though, even if I shock in. All right, so we'll kill them this way. What? They didn't pay for life? Oh, because that thing did die. That's why. Should have shocked in. All right. Um, no, cancel. Yeah, the Soren's going to be tough to beat. Definitely the cards that I was scared of. As shocking in first could have made them pay for life to keep the Vanguard alive. I, I could activate the Ley Line of Abundance if I would have shocked in. So it could have been an 11-12. Alright, so our druids tapping for five mana now. Hmm. Gosh, I need to play that, but I, I certainly need to kill Soren. But I can't do both. Ugh. Getting punished for playing Cavalier, not Ripjaw Raptor right now. And I can't survive if I don't kill Soren, so do that we have to draw a mana creature next turn and our opponent cannot play a creature because we're going down to one we need to have two blockers so we need to draw a mana creature oh well that's going to do it oh well that really does it let me just play that thing soren's the tough one no i, I boarded out manipulation Guess we'll play one. All right, actually, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play the Cavalier Thorns. We're gonna cut those. Yeah, Othakaya is definitely a good one, King J. Yeah, Othakaya is a good one. 
You just have to worry a little bit with it costing three mana. You have a lot of stuff that costs three there already. No idea how vamps will look after rotation. I don't know. I just I haven't been thinking about decks after rotation at all yet. Boo. This game worked out very well for them. Defeating you will not bring me pleasure. Okay. How smart could I have sired many warriors? Power surges through these lands. Harness the elements. That worked out very well for them. Your lifeblood is sweeter than wine. Hey, Judas. Well, it, they definitely sacrificed the wrong vampire. Fight on without me. Good game. Doesn't matter though. Our deck is pretty fragile. While, while I can do some ridiculous stuff, if our opponent has a ton of removal like that, I mean, I don't. That was just an awesome hand. That was one of the best vampire hands I've ever seen. Honestly, there, that game three. But... Yeah, we got to do some crazy stuff here with this deck. And... I guess I don't think I sideboarded too well for game two. I liked, I liked the sideboard plan for game three. It just... We didn't draw anything but lands. And our, after having six cards and our opponent's hand was, wow, that was incredible. But this deck is crazy. If you want a, if you, like, there's really not a, a bigger ramp deck than this. Uh, you know, 16 mana creatures and four ley lines. We were ramping so hard. Um, and uh, Voracious Hydra was awesome. Krasis obviously was awesome. Arcbow Ranger was really, really good for us. Just every time I play this card, it's just really good. Just such a solid card. So there we go. That's Abundance Ramp. You want a deck that'll just give you free wins because you're ramping so hard. That's what this deck is. All right. Um... So if you're if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if so, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But that's it here for Abundance Ramp. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.